Welcome to Thinking Particles Subscription Drop 3. In this video, we will discuss the new features we have added to Thinking Particles Subscription Drop 3. The new option we have is a direct alembic export from Thinking Particles. Here in this scene, we have a simple smoke setup and we are going to use the scene to export a particle system into an alembic file. The scene is pretty simple. We create the particles, do a smoke simulation, and we have a dynamic set called File I.O. When we open this dynamic set, we will see the Alembic export node. Let's have a look at the Alembic export node. We can choose which particle group we want to export as an Alembic file. We can add as many particle groups as we want. Then, when we have chosen the particle group, we can start to export the particle groups as an alembic file. We can decide if we want to export the active time segment or a specific range as an ABC file. The most important part is we have several options to export the alembic file. We can export what we see in the viewport or if there's a render specific operator or modifier, we can also export the view as we see it in the render room. Another method uh, option is we can export a particle system that would be an alembic particle system file or we can export an object per group so per particle group we create one alembic object or we create per particle an individual alembic object so it is up to you how you want to create your alembic file then we can decide if we want to have one single alembic file that includes everything or if we want to have an alembic file per particle group, which is very handy as it does it in one go. Then we can choose between different alembic formats. Most importantly, we can decide which channel to export to an alembic file. That's a great memory saver. We can decide if we only want to export velocity and including if we want to have special things like the data channels of thinking particles. In this situation, we want to export the data channels because we are using our smoke operator and that needs the temperature. I'm going to go and load a new scene. So this is a new scene. We only have the smoke group in there and an import file node. So nothing else is in this scene. It's a fresh scene where we are just going to use our recently exported Alembic file. In the import file node, we can choose the Alembic file just like this. And that's all we need to do when we are now going to play back the file we will be able to see the smoke. To make sure that we get the temperature, as I mentioned before, we have to create the data channel for temperature. On import, it will be automatically assigned from the Alembic file. And as you can see, it's right now using the standard color gradient. And to get the real colors, we can use the original color gradient we had in the other file. So we can just assign the gradient, the color gradient, and we will see the temperatures, the proper temperatures and the proper, proper colors in the rendering. So we are going to choose the gradient. We just imported the color gradient and now we are reading the file the alembic file all the particles are coming from the alembic file there's no simulation going on nothing else is going on we can use that now as a normal cache file no more simulation necessary that's the power of the alembic import you can also use it to export the alembic file to other applications feel free to check out our webpage at sebas.com thanks for watching this video